Let's see if you have the practical math skills to solve this problem without a calculator. So we want to take away 2 feet 10 inches from 4 feet 1 inch, and we want to express our answer in terms of feet and inches. All right, now no calculators, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. I'm going to solve this in just one second. But before we get started, let me tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link in the description below. All right, so let's get into this problem. Okay, now when it comes to practical mathematics, probably nothing is more important than your ability to work with measurements, which means you need to know how to work with units of measure. Now here we are working with feet and inches, but if you're not familiar with feet and inches in terms of a unit of measure, and you are more familiar with like the metric system, i.e. meters and centimeters and millimeters, the concepts here still apply because we are talking about different units of measure. So let's suppose we had a piece of wood, a board that was four feet one inches long, and we want to take away or cut off two feet 10 inches so what the question really is asking is how much uh, remains, i.e. what is the length of this remaining piece right here after we cut off this piece right here. So this is kind of a visual interpretation of the problem. Now, a lot of you can just kind of look at uh, the feet and inches and figure this out. There's not one way to do this problem. And here is a kind of great mental way to think about the problem. So here we're at two feet, 10 inches. Some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, if I add two inches here, that gets me to, uh, let me use a different color here, that gets me to three feet, right? So if I add two inches to the 10 inches, that's uh, 12 inches. So if you're um, not familiar with feet and inches, one foot is equal to 12 inches, all right? So for those of you watching this uh, video in another part of the world, one foot is equal to 12 inches. Okay, so if we add two inches to our 10 inches here, we have three feet. Okay, so here we wanna to get to four feet one inches, so if we add another foot there, we're at four feet, but we need one more inch. So the difference is gonna be what? Well, we need this foot, we need these two inches here and one more inch to get us to four feet one inch. So the answer is actually one foot and three inches. So I said, let's express the answer in terms of feet and inches, not only in inches. Okay, so if you got this right, that is fantastic. I gotta give you a nice little happy face and an A plus. But I really wanna kinda get into the math in terms of working with units of measure because this is a pretty easy problem uh, to kind of visualize and figure out because uh, the numbers here are pretty simple. Certainly I could, uh, I could make a more complicated problem, but uh, let's just kind of uh, use this simple problem to discuss how to work with different units of measure. So when you're trying to figure out a calculation that involves different units of measure, something like here where we have feet and inches, or maybe if we have like days, hours, minutes, and seconds, what you want to do is convert all these units into one common unit. And oftentimes it's uh, easiest to pick the smallest unit or smallest increment. So in other words, we can express uh, these feet in terms of inches. We can express uh, one inch in terms of a foot, but again, it's generally easier to express all units into the smallest increment. So for example, if we were given days, hours, minutes, and seconds, you might want to consider uh, taking all these units and uh, converting them into seconds. You don't have to do that, but oftentimes it makes things a lot easier. Then once you have your answer in this smallest unit, you can re-express it or reconvert it back into the units that you want. So in this particular problem, we're going to express everything in terms of inches, but we need to know this conversion factor, and that is one foot, again, is equal to 12 inches. So if you didn't know that, well, you would have a tough time converting everything into inches. Okay, so four feet, one inch is equal to what? Well, four feet is going to be four feet, but if I multiply that by 12 inches, I'll have four feet in terms of inches, which of course is 48 inches. 
Now, technically what's going on is that you're taking this four feet and we're, go we're going to convert it into inches by multiplying it by a conversion factor, all right? So an equivalency, which means that there are 12 inches in one foot. Now notice here that uh, I have this equivalency, 12 inches to one foot written this way, all right? So this is what we call a conversion factor. But one foot is also the same thing as 12 inches. But if I write it this way, what ends up happening when I multiply four feet by 12 inches over one foot, this conversion factor, the feet cross cancel, okay? We're multiplying fractions, so we're multiplying the respective numerators and denominators. So we have to pay attention to the units of measure. The feet uh, cross cancel and we're left with inches. So four times 12 will give us 48 inches. So of course, most of you out there probably know, just take those four feet and multiply by 12 and you get your answer in inches. But uh, from a mathematical standpoint, you need to understand what's going on in terms of a conversion factor. All right, so hopefully this makes sense. Now let me go ahead and erase this and we'll write uh, this uh, measurement in terms of inches. So here we have 48 inches plus this one inch right here. So we have a total of 49 inches. Okay, so two feet, 10 inches. Well, this is gonna be pretty easy. So two feet is gonna be what? Well, that's gonna be two times 12 inches. So that's 24 inches plus this 10 inches right here. So that is going to be a total of 34 inches. Okay, so now our problem is 49 inches minus 34 inches. So now we'll go ahead and do this simple math. By the way, you can express inches in terms of this uh, notation like this, 49 inches minus uh, 34 inches. So what is this equal to? Well, let's talk about how to do this now. Real quick, if you want my best math instruction, you definitely got to check out my full courses. Again, you can find links to these in the description of this video, but they span basic math to advanced math and everything in between. Okay, so let's keep going with this problem. And don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so 49 inches minus 34 inches is, of course, going to be 15 inches. So we're talking about simple arithmetic here. 49 minus 34, of course, is 15. Now, 15 inches is a good answer. That is correct. But remember, I said express your answer in terms of feet and inches. So how can we do that if we're given 15 inches? Well, now that we know that one foot is equal to 12 inches, you can say, well, if I take away 12 inches from this uh, 15 inches right here, that's the same thing as one foot. Now, what's left over if I take away 12 inches from 15 inches is three inches. So our final answer is what one foot, three inches. Okay, so this is one way to do the math, but uh, I really want to emphasize how to work with units of measure. So let's convert our 15 inches here. So I'm gonna write it this way. So remember, this is a notation for inches. By the way, feet would be like this, five feet and this is five inches, okay. All right, so here we have 15 inches and let's uh, rewrite uh, this uh, value right here or this measurement in terms of feet and inches. So the way we're gonna do that is multiply by a conversion factor. Now, although this is a very simple example, the math uh, still applies to more complicated situations, all right? So you're gonna have to know how to work with conversion factors. And what we wanna do here is get rid of the inches and be left with feet as a unit of measure. So we wanna think about our conversion factor in terms of a fraction where we have to think about what uh, unit is going to be in the denominator and what unit is going to be in the numerator. So for example, we know that 12 inches is equal to one foot. And this is correct, but if I multiply 15 inches by 12 inches over one foot, I'm gonna end up with inches squared, and I don't want that. I wanna get rid of the inches, okay? So 12 inches to one foot, although that is correct, it's not the unit of, or not the conversion factor that I want to use. I wanna get rid of inches, so we need to put our 12 inches down here and our one foot up here. Okay, so now when we multiply these two fractions, the inches go away, and I'm left with feet. 
So when we multiply fractions, we multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So we're going to end up with 15 feet over 12. Okay, 15 feet over 12. So now we need to do a little bit of division to get this down to feet and inches. Okay, so all we need to do here is divide 15 by 12 and we'll get our answer in feet, but we we'll also will have a remainder and that remainder will be in inches. So 15 divided by 12 is what? Well, 12 goes into 15 one time, one times 12 is 12. And here we have a remainder of three, which is going to be our inches. So here again, our answer is one foot three inches. So different ways to think about this problem, but the bottom line is you need to know how to work with units of measure and conversion factors. Okay, so if this video was helpful, make sure to uh, like and subscribe. And if you wanna continue building your math skills, make sure to check out my full main math courses. So with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.